Well, I think the thing that I'm most struck by by the conversation I've just had is that you could naively think to yourself that the, the building boats in Belfast because of the history of boat building in Belfast, and that would be absolutely right. You know, we, we have such a proud history uh, of boat building and shipbuilding here in Belfast. But actually what they said is the key thing is actually that high-tech industries. So it's things like Bombardier. It's those high-tech businesses, the supply chain businesses for Bombardier. Because as they've just said to me, you know, that sail on that ship is not a sail, it's a wing. This is actually about the most high-tech aerodynamics uh, and an aeronautical uh, uh, in, in expertise that's required and it's what here in Belfast that they found it and I found that really heartening that actually Belfast can attract the most high-tech businesses because of the quality of our uh, people and the quality of the businesses here. This is the very first uh, Green GB in Northern Ireland week. It's absolutely fantastic that we are here promoting a, a, a vessel that's going to be entirely fossil fuel free. Uh, this is the future. This is what we need to be doing. We need to be ahead of the game. We need to be beating the rest of the world at this because the rest of the world will want green technology. We need to be the ones delivering it. There's so many opportunities. There are businesses opening and investing in Northern Ireland all the time. And the great thing I think is that those businesses are offering really high quality jobs here in Northern Ireland. So nobody needs to leave Northern Ireland. In fact, we're attracting brain into Northern Ireland. And that is a really positive thing. And it means those young people, those young people at Belfast Met just across the river have got real opportunities for when they leave college.